proper happy with this. Bend them 45 degrees. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Bend them 90 degrees. It's been a monster session in the garage today, and it's not over yet. So I've got um, this, the main rails from the um, subframe. Well, come with me, I'll show you. So there we go. The main rails from the subframe going to fit over here. Perfect fit. Now I just need to uh, uh, install a couple of um, clinch nuts or rivet nuts, whatever you want to call them, so I can bolt it on. Again, I don't want to weld to the frame. I know it would be easier, but I want to hold the thing be removable so I can take it off. Um, but that's going to be as strong as you like it. Obviously, midboard bending and grinding come into play, but I'm happy now. Let's uh, let's carry on. See how uh, see how far we can get today.
nearly there. I'm mounting it at the moment, just using a just regular nitin washer, uh, just to finish it off. Well, not finish it off, just to uh, see how that looks. And I'm gonna start bending that and creating the under tray. But obviously, when uh, when all in place, I'm probably gonna put in there like a clinch nut, a rivet nut, or a or a, a plug weld, some kind of a thread underneath. So I don't need to put my hand in there, just screw it from the top. But there we go. That's uh, that's how you're looking, lads. Quite happy with that. There's very little movement. And the lines are looking like that of that whole unit, which is pretty much what I had in mind in the first place. Very happy with that. Let's put a petrol tank on it. Have a look how it looks. <coughs> right. This sits at the moment. It's going to be lifted still to match that. To match that line over here, still dress that a bit. Just have it like that. Well, I like that. The length is right, the height is right, the lines are perfect. Quite happy with that actually. Uh, yeah, I'll do. Yeah, very happy with that. Very happy. Uh, the lines are right <coughs> of the petrol tank, and don't worry about the bars at the moment. They are uh, not important. But yeah, but the whole thing is looking good. I like it. Uh, now the plan is to uh, uh, bend those to match the uh, profile of petrol tank. So it's a bit narrow, where well, like this width all the way from the frame. So I need to bend them outwards both of them this way and then uh, fabricate an under front and um, the under tray goes all along here so I can put the electrics here and the fuses and relays and all the other shit uh, are gonna be protected from the water coming from uh, there's gonna be no mud guard on the back just uh, just the under tray but it's gonna be covered by a seat anyway so that doesn't matter and once that brace is down here that'll be strong as you like it very happy with that very very happy with that so far time right now to uh, line them on up in place and bend them in the same way because they're both independent I bent one and the other one kind of goes out of shape so uh, I just decided to tack weld them quickly um, on the width they're supposed to be just in the front and back and then I can kind of make sure they stay this way when I work on the under tray and I can bend the back as well and hopefully they'll all be square and level and as they should be so just a couple of tag welds, which I'll be uh, grinding off in a later on, uh, but just to keep it together for now, and so I can work on the hand of tray. Um, yeah, that's the plan for now.
right there we have it uh so this little uh, uh temporary i need to say the temporary uh, little brackets here just to give me the right width so it clears the petrol tank perfectly on each end um and then i uh just took some time off camera as well just to bend this the way i want it uh i bend it inwards and i bend it on its own as well so it gives it a nice kind of uh uh, aerodynamic if you want to call it um, uh, shape to it put just a little tack weld over here uh, for the moment uh, just to keep it together uh, and it's perfectly uh, perfectly straight from every from every angle all the measurements I took extra time just to make sure this is uh, this is right because obviously that needs to sit in the middle of the tire uh, which it does at the moment we see there's still a little bit of flex to it but next thing we're going to work on the under tray from a uh, sheet metal again and that's gonna just uh, make it really really strong as well so hopefully uh, eliminate all this flex and everything else that comes to it once, once we put the brace underneath that's gonna be rock solid but yeah that's where we are at the moment and this is the lines uh, this is the line of the bike I like the way the petrol tank just uh, uh, picks up on the on the on the subframe in the bottom of the subframe just goes there I really like that line. Uh, that is what I had in mind, and I'm uh, and I'm going for. So uh, uh, very happy with that result so far. Um, really like that stance. The seat height is just right. Uh, empty space over here. Really like that as well. So uh, so far so good. Uh, very happy with the result. There was a monster monster session in the garage. Uh, been here pretty much all day. Um, but obviously a uh, couple of six packs and. Uh, <laughs> That can make everything a bit more bearable, but we good, we good at the moment. I'm I'm very happy with all this. So um, under tray is probably the next process. Uh, let me get some cardboard cutouts and uh, see if we can uh, make semi decent job out of this uh, of this whole thing. Rock and roll. <laughs>